So now what we're looking at is the right atrium. And as we know, the right atrium is going to receive blood from the superior vena cava as well as the inferior vena cava. Um, and it's going to also pull blood from the coronary sinus as well as the anterior cardiac veins. Um, and now let's kind of look at naming the different parts of, of what, what I've drawn out here. What we have is superior vena cave that's going to come in. And this area that we see right here is the pulmonary trunk. Next we have the pulmonary valves. We have the SA node that's right here. And you probably know the SA node is the pacemaker. This right here is the Christa terminalis. Then we have the fossa ovalis. And next we have what is the opening of the coronary sinus. Oh, sorry, that's actually right here. The AV node is the one that's right above it. So this is the AV node, this is the coronary sinus. And right here is, this is where the right AV is. These fibers right here are the corda tympani. I'm sorry, the corditendine. These are the papillary muscles. And just to give you an idea, what is everything? Now, normally, what we'd have in this drawing is the musculi pec pectinati, which they're going to be these kind of striations that are going to be seen, or these kind of folds that are seen on the wall of the heart. And so they're small muscular ridges or grooves on the surface of, that passes from the atrium proper into the atrial appendage. This crista terminale that we see flowing right down here, it's a muscular ridge that runs vertically in the atrium, separating its posterior smooth wall from the more anterior plane of mus uh, muscular pe uh, pectini. The SA node, as I said, is the pacemaker of the heart, and it's located at the intersection of the crista terminale that we see here and the entrance of the superior vena cava, which is entering right here. Then we have the valve of the inferior vena cava and the um, coronary sinus. And these are going to be like these sickle-like um, sickle flaps that are going to guard the entrance of the vessels. Then we have the fossa ovale, which is right here. It's an oval-shaped depression in the intraatrial uh, intra septum that is evident in the right atrium, and it's a remnant of, fetal, uh, of the fetal foramen ovale. Um, and then we have the atrioventricular opening, which is basically the entrance from the right atrium to the right ventricle, and it's guarded by a valve located in the left ventricle. And that's basically it for the right atrium. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends.